A truck comes barreling through this homeowner's property in Southgate, leaves this huge mess. I'm talking broken fences, a smashed guardrail, a fire pit flipped on its side. And to make matters worse, the homeowner says this is not the first time this has happened on his property. From the way this look, he came in this way. Yeah. And he ran into this guardrail. He ran into my fence right in here, which the guardrail was behind it. Jesse Golston walks us through a pain that he's experienced far too often. His backyard getaway destroyed by a driver who veered off of Old Goddard in Southgate Tuesday night. What did that boom sound like? Boom. <laughs> I hate to say it like that. Real hard. He, he hit it real hard. Truthfully, that's what got me up. I heard the boom. As I came closer, I heard this crack, 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 like, he, like he's taking it out purposely which I don't think he was. Jesse says the driver tried to keep going, but police later stopped and arrested him. Southgate PD says the suspect had a court hearing Wednesday and bonded out of jail. I can imagine you don't want to move. No, I don't. I love my home. I love my neighborhood. But Jesse Golson says it's the fourth time a driver has hit his home in the past 12 years. The multicolored bricks are a reminder of the last incident. This wall here from the last impact. It ripped this wall out. That spa right there, but it was a different spa, of course. It was in the kitchen. I appreciate y'all coming. I don't even know what to say. Right. Because I fought with the city, I fought with the county, and one put it on one, one, one put it on one, and one put it on the other. If the city or county were to help, what would you like for them to do? They're gonna have to do something about that curve. We reached out to the city of Southgate in Wayne County, but did not hear back by our deadline. Jesse Golston is insured. He says the past three crashes have cost him a total of $100,000 in repairs. In Southgate, Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.